Hello, ULF. This is Chairman Jack. Today I'm accompanied by Bulgan in Maine. Yeah, and today we're in another long line of our What Is videos. We're going to do What Is Social Fascism? So, to start off, I'm going to hand it off to Volgan to briefly explain what social fascism is. Social fascism is this belief that social democrats are basically fascists, that social democracy is the moderate wing of fascism, and that a figure like Bernie Sanders or something like that is basically like the exact same as someone like Adolf Hitler. That there is no, there's virtually no difference and we can't work with, we can't work with a social democrat because, well, they're a fascist or social fascist. Yeah. To expand on that within the form of history, where it actually comes about from is in 1927, there was a Chinese general after, of course, the Soviet Union through the Comintern uh, basically said the Chinese Communist Party couldn't exist anymore and needed to solely join the Kuomintang. And as Stalin was hosting uh, Chiang Kai-shek, there was a mass uprising, I believe in Guangdong, uh, of this communist general who was trying to create a mass uprising and build a communist movement. And he asked the Comintern to send soldiers and support them. And they refused to, as they believed in the United Front with Chiang Kai-shek. And after the Kuomintang came in and mass slaughtered the communists, Stalin and the Comintern took this massive other reproach and took the line of uh, social fascism. Like, social democrats are evil, they're fascists, they're terrible. And uh, I'll let Maine take over from there. Yeah, a good example of the theory of social fascism in practice was in Germany in the 30s um, with the KPD and their approach uh, to working in alliances uh, and together with other organizations, social democratic organizations like the SPD and so forth, and the Nazis who were rising at the time. The line that the KPD took um, was that at first they took the line of... Uh, the Nazis first, then us. Um, <clears throat> essentially, the view that we wait, let the Nazis get into power, and then we will follow suit. Mm -hmm. um, but then, uh, after the Nazis started getting even more power, and they started to realize that that wasn't going to exactly be the case, they then started to take a hard, hard line against the Nazis. And one of the part of those hard lines was refusing to work with social democrats in Germany in alliance to fight against the uh, Nazis at the time, uh, essentially stay, or, um, holding the view that the SPD was essentially a moderate wing of the Nazis and coming to the point of view that they were no better than the fascists and that they were enablers of the fascists. Yeah, I think to put things in a modern context, it just doesn't work in the practicalities. You can talk about how, how valid it is in theory all you want, but it just simply doesn't work in the practicalities. Are you going to go to a DSA, like when DSA people are marching in the street next to you, if they do, which I'm not going to say DSA is a good organization or anything, or Bernie Sanders supporters or anything, if they're marching beside you, are you not going to give them a flyer and say, come to this organization if you care about the U.S. trying to overthrow Venezuela. Are you just going to refuse to talk to these people? As many communists today, you know, were formerly Sanders supporters or had a moderate view at one point, would you just say to that person, your, your former self, oh, you could never be a communist. You, you are a fascist. You are terrible. It just doesn't work in the practicalities. How are communists ever supposed to grow if the people around us, we just tell them, you're a social fascist, you're evil, fuck off. Like, it just doesn't, it doesn't work in the practicalities, and I think that's the biggest error of uh, that view. Anyway, to um, wrap it up, if anyone doesn't have any closing statements, social fascism is simply the belief that social democrats are the moderate wing of fascism, and they neither can be worked with. That we view that social democrats, since they're equal to fascists, are just as bad in every single way, and need to be not, never worked with, never gone near in anything. Uh, in the same vein. So I thank you all for listening. I've been Chairman Jack. Volgan. And Maine. Thank you so much.